Hi, welcome to Mishnah's official channels. This is a tutorial video for our new Instagram Shop Plus extension. In this video, we guide you step by step how to set up this extension in Visitor 2. Now, let's start with the configuration. At first, you need to get the client ID and client secret to connect your Instagram shop with Messenger. It's a user guide. We put the link to Instagram double off site. Then sign in with your Instagram account. On the top of the page, choose Manage Clients. There you will see the client ID. To get the client secret code, select Manage. Afterward, move on to the admin panel in Messenger 2. Under the Instagram section, fill in the client ID and client secret with the code you previously got. Next, click on Get Authorization. General settings, add link to gallery in the front end main menu. The setting allows you to add the link to your Instagram gallery generated by the extension on the menu in the front end. Then enter the name in menu items title. If you want to use the available name on the menu, check use system value. The name will be auto-filled. Then fill the URL to the gallery. And select the layout for it. There are two options for media type that can be pulled from Instagram store to your monitor to site. Only image or both image and video. Let's move on to Instagram photo themselves. This extension, when customer hover over a photo, an overlaying call to action button will display. You can change the title of the button as well. There is another call to action button under the image gallery by default. You can set the button text and style using CFS. A CFS template is in place by default that you can see how it is applied on the storefront. Display in product view. You can select which information will show up on the product view between two options, product name or product name and image. Display Instagram collection in product detail. If you choose yes, there will be a block on the bottom of the product detail page which includes the product image and hashtag to the related product. Then you can enter the hashtag, which will redirect the customer to the collection of relating products, and the title and content for the blog. On Fetch Hashtag Photos, in this section allows you to pull the image relating to the hashtag from your Instagram shop to Messenger site. Enter the tag and click on Import. On Instagram tag photos page, choose the photos you want to show following the hashtag and click on show hi under the actions drop down list. Then hit submit. There will be a page on the storefront named after the hashtag and contains all the images that have been selected. Back to the configuration page. On get photos on your Instagram account. Click on Get Photo Now button. Then on the Instagram Photos page, choose Image and select Show Hide in Wicked or Show Hide in Gallery. To setting for each image, double click on it. You can set the position on slider for the image. Then Save. To set the hotspots for the image, click on Create Edit Hotspot at the end of the row. Maintain the layout. The maximum number of hotspots for each image is 5. Then drag and drop the hotspots to the place you want to put. Then fill the SKU on each spot to define the tag product. The name of each product will show up on its corresponding hotspot when the customer clicks on it. Here, we will create the new wicket. For more details, you can refer to the user guide which contains the details of creating a wicket. Choose the type of Instagram slider. Then choose the design theme. Continue. On Storefront's property section, enter the title. Choose the store view and set the sort order for the wicket. 
Detail update. Display on. Choose the types of product displayed on the widget. Container. Choose the page that you want your widget to display on. Then choose the layout. On widget options, you can set the layout for the widget. Enter the title for the widget. Then set for the widget up to your desire. Don't forget to save so you don't lose all your changes. Finally, we will show you the layout on the storefront. And that is the tutorial video for the Instagram Shop Plus extension for Magento 2. We hope that you now have a better look at how the extension works and how it can have improved your Magento 2 site. We put the links for customization requests and support for the extension in the description down below. Don't hesitate to contact us if you need the assistance. Thanks for watching.